Hey, what's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Here at the homepage of the website, MrMBB333.com, you're looking at a photo that was sent in a few weeks ago, taken down in the South Pacific of what looks like a highly advanced flying machine. I've never seen anything quite like that. In this video, we're going to the South Atlantic Ocean, one of the most remote locations on planet Earth. Mary Hall has once again noticed some unusual, what look like could be highly advanced flying machines down here in this location location that again is very secluded most of us never get to this part of the world 99 percent of the population of planet earth never gets to this part of the world so there could be anything there could be a wide variety of things out here that none of us will ever know about this is just a large, large area that is very sparsely populated. So, again, there could be a wide variety of things out there, and none of us would ever know. This photo came out of the South Pacific Ocean of what looks like a very highly advanced flying machine. But we're going to come back and take a look at all that here in a moment. But since we're here at the website, I'd like to wish happy birthday to Yesh Young, Regina DaCosta, and Chris A. Birthdays today on May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo to everybody. Also, Nelson Bannister had a birthday on May 1st. Happy birthday, Nelson. Hope you guys all had a great day. Since we're here at the website, quick look at the Schumann Resonance. You can see the, the background noise is starting to pick up a little bit in the last 24 to 48 hours. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that, that monitor the mighty supervolcano. Once again, small earthquakes over here on the east side of the Caldera and down here near Yellowstone Lake. You can see a, a lot of activity here recently, just in the last couple of hours. All of those red vertical lines are earthquakes, albeit small, but nevertheless, those are earthquakes at a very big volcano. Coming over here to the GOES X-ray flux, looking at the most recent solar flares, and there have been countless C flares and multiple M flares in the last 48 hours, as this active region right here and sunspot have grown exponentially as it's starting to now rotate away from planet Earth. But right now, it's directly facing the Earth, and the solar flux is reflecting that as it's up to 100 30 and just a couple of days ago it was down to 111. Coming over here to the National Data Buoy Center, it's not very often that you see a buoy in event mode over here. Today we have two, one off the coast of New York and down here in the Western Pacific Ocean where there's been no earthquakes, at least large earthquakes that would have tripped a buoy into event mode. Not quite sure what's going on. Mysterious origins of the energy that has tripped these buoys into event mode. Then again it could be a simple mechanical mechanical glitch, but you're looking at number four and number five. These are the fifth buoys in the last five weeks that we've seen over here in event mode, again, for reasons unknown. I want to take you guys now back down to the, the southeastern coast of South America, and we are at least 500 miles offshore. There's nothing out here. There's no islands. There's nothing that I know of. I've never been here. I know most of you watching the video have never been here. There's no place to go. Again, it's one of the most secluded remote locations of planet Earth. We're going to start off with the video sent in by Mary Hall from the International Space Station live cam from April 25th of 2022. And here we go. Pay attention to the, the right hand side of the screen. Again, we're off the coast of South America, very remote location and as I showed you on Google Earth there's nothing out there but yet we see a entire armada of lights in this location way off the coast of southeastern South America and you can see how they kind of light up green there temporarily I don't know if that's just a, a camera anomaly or what but that was a very large fleet off the coast of southeastern South America Again, one of the most secluded locations of planet Earth. There could be anything out there, and none of us would really know the wiser. I want to take you guys now back down to the same location. This video observation was from yesterday. Once again, at least 500 miles offshore. Here we go. I've sped it up for presentation purposes. You're going to see two white orbs here, and you're going to see three down here moving across the screen from right to left. This is out over the ocean. In fact, let me pause it. I want to show you guys exactly where the space station's at. Off the coast of 
southeastern South America, at least 500 miles offshore. These objects that you're seeing, she noticed on May 4th of 2022, are bright white objects. They don't appear to be blinking. They don't change shape. They do not appear to be rotating. I'm going to zoom in. We're going to take a closer look at these things, whatever they are. And again, they're out over the, the southeastern southern Atlantic Ocean, very remote part of the Earth. And again, there could be a wide variety of things out there, and we would never know about it because none of us ever get there. This one here just happened to be in the shape of a triangle, but the lights don't blink. They don't change shape. They're not tumbling. They're very stable, whatever they are, and they're quite large. We see objects on here, at least here recently, quite often, and I will say these are very stable, very large, and very bright. You got to keep in mind the space station's 250 miles above planet Earth, and these things here showed up very nice, and you can see these here are different shapes and sizes unlike the ones that you just saw here that maintained the, the same size and luminosity the entire time they were in the field of view. Once again, well over 500 miles off the southeastern coast of South America. And once again, another excellent observation by Mary Hall. You can find her YouTube channel linked down below in the description box. Here a while back, I received multiple videos from multiple people on April 21st of 2022 at 9.50 p.m. from Pennsylvania and Michigan. Michigan. I'm going to show you guys a few of the videos because I believe what we're looking at is one of the Starlink satellite trains. And by now, most of us have seen this at one point or another in the nighttime sky. I will say, however, this one does look a little different. It looks blue. This was sent in by Operator X out of Meadville, Pennsylvania, 9.50 p.m., April 21st of 2022, moving across the nighttime sky. Another video out of Michigan looking at what appears to be the same thing. It doesn't look blue like you see there. And here's a close-up view of, to me, what looks like the Starlink satellite train, one of many now that are orbiting planet Earth. Here's a video sent in by Scott C. from Michigan, April 21st. Same same exact time, 9.50 p.m. I got multiple reports from multiple people of this going across the nighttime sky. But the thing of it is, they didn't think it was the Starlink. Like I said, most of us have heard about it at least. I've seen it twice, but if you haven't seen it, it would be quite mysterious to see. But I had several people from the same location. Here's another one, you for him, April 21st, 9.50 p.m., out of North Central Michigan. Notice this, what looks like the Starlink moving through the nighttime sky at the same exact time. Again, I got multiple reports from multiple people. I want to thank you guys for all of the reports, but to me, that looks like the Starlink, or at least one of the Starlinks. Did anybody else see this in the nighttime sky on April 21st of 2022 above Michigan or quite possibly Minnesota, Pennsylvania? And did it appear to be blue like it is in this video here? I will say the, the two times that I've seen the Starlink definitely was not blue, and it wasn't this close together. It was spanned out well across the nighttime sky. This is pretty close together for the Starlink unless it just entered low Earth orbit and had not spanned out yet. So if you guys did see this, please leave a comment down below in the comment section. And if you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.